Okay, so I've bought some new levers for the bike. Brake, fully adjustable, CNC, bloody good quality. Brake and clutch, fully adjustable as well. And that was 600 baht, which is 15 pounds for the pair. Can you believe it? The other thing I've bought to go with my uh, RAM mount for the phone is a waterproof USB, which I've just kind of stuck on there. Run the cables, run the cables through. I like to take this side panel off, which is pretty easy. Take the front seat off, or take that front seat off. Um, take this out, this little bolt here. Uh, take a little bolt out that's in there and then this whole side panel just pops off there's a couple of like those kind of popper things one in there one in there you just pop it off and then there's some like little lips that lip into this you don't have to remove that I managed to I managed to run the cable down underneath and then through onto the battery and that USB was 200 baht which is a fiver so so far I've spent 20 quid and this the stand I was a bit skeptical when I uh, bought it because I thought maybe it won't be big enough for the bike but uh, yeah I bought it anyway and that cost a tenner. So all told, I've spent 30 quid. So I've got a nice little stand, some nice little adjustable levers, and now a USB. So well happy with that. Now that there is my um, disc lock. I just sort of cable tied it onto there, because I couldn't really find anywhere else for it. So, there you have it. The reason I like shorty levers is I can get my finger on there quite nicely. Let's try it the other way round, but it's difficult to do the other way round. But I ride generally with my two fingers on the lever, and I found with the standard levers, um, I like to get kind of that part of my, oh, where is my finger? I like to get that part of my finger kind of over the lever so it's just sort of resting on the lever like that but the other way around I can't do that with the long levers I end up just doing it with my fingertips so I still end up having to slide my fingers forward to to break that's the only reason I've done it well apart from the fact they look good I've found with the clutch it's quite a heavy clutch on the MT-07 um, I have given it a little test uh, just to see once I put the levers on I did the levers yesterday gave it a little test and yeah, a little bit stiff I think if you were doing traffic all day long all day long and slipping the clutch it's not going to be very not going to be very good but the sort of riding I do um, clutch is not a problem Uh, forgot to mention that the double USB port that I bought has got an inline fuse so if per chance it does start draining the battery uh, all I need to do is pull out the fuse that's pretty good quality stuff all Chinese obviously but yeah pretty damn good oh and the other addition which I'm not sure I like or not but I saw it in the market uh, the number 46 I'll probably take it off and put it on the put it on the truck I expect or put it on the scooter over there that'd be better put it on my little wave or click rather you know I might take it off and put it on there because it kind of spoils the um, well I don't know whether it spoils it or not what do you think guys